Welcome back everyone for another video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. So today I want to talk to you about my new bike basically. So I've been banging on about getting a hardtail since 2016. Where I was doing deliveries to a shop called Jess Bikes in Andover. And round the back, the guy, the owner, used to have an orange P7. And every day I used to do deliveries through the back and I was like, hmm... That looks like a nice bike. I really want one of them. Obviously, being an orange fan, so I had a quick little whiz around the car park when no one was looking. I absolutely loved it. Well, obviously, it's not a great, you know, you want to take it on the trails, but I was like, oh, mate, I need another half hardtail after having that orange crush before and selling it. I was like, I need one in, it, in my life, man, big time. So, finally got round to it, and I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm really looking forward to it because... The e-bike is amazing. It's almost too amazing. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to pick your line. It's got so much travel. It's got great suspension. It just smashes through everything. So to have a hardtail, I mean, it's going to be so much lighter. It's going to be totally different. I'm going to have to pick my lines properly. It's going to make technical trails harder, which is what I really want. I want to get back to just like the technical technicality of riding a mountain bike you know so going back to the old school guys um so i was i got into my head i wanted a steel 29er ideally british and no money no object after having a good look around i was like mm, i want a kona Honzo ESD. It's slack, it's 29, it's everything I want, but obviously the budget doesn't stretch to that, does it? So I found a P7 off eBay. I was getting really close to sort of pulling the trigger on it until looking in the pictures, thank God I did, that the little grommet thing where the um the shelf dropper post cable goes through was missing and the guy that was selling it said that he was dry, uh, riding it only on the road and you could see all the rock salt from the road on the wheels and that I was like mate it's probably rusting through and I did a bit more research as much as I love orange orange p7s are known for rusting through to the bottom bracket it would not put me off buying one brand new, but second hand, I don't think I would touch a P7, to be honest. It would have to be pretty new, like one or two years old and very well looked after. So, so glad I didn't actually buy that one in the end. So I was thinking, what else can I do? I've watched loads of videos online. What bike can I get for my budget? And I'll come across a uh, channel called Hardtail Party. This guy, what he doesn't know about hardtails is not worth knowing. Massive shout out to Hardtail Party. He has really, really helped me out. I watched one of his videos. He had um, Ragley sent him a big wig frame and a big owl frame. And he, he rode them back to back. And that really helped me decide. Because I really wanted a big wig because it was still 29er. Is everything I wanted. And... Yeah, just keep sending bit hardtail party the frames. If any of the manufacturers are listening to this, keep sending hardtail party the frames for him to test out because it helped me make my decision, you know. Um, after agonising for ages over material geometry, I come across another one of hardtail party's videos and he, he's talking about how... Just because it's steel, don't get into your head that it's actually going to be really compliant and be an amazing ride. And just because it's steel, it's going to be good. It's going to give you all the best traits of steel. That's not necessarily true. You could have a really badly designed steel frame that just runs crap. And you could have a really well designed aluminium frame that would can run a lot better than that crap steel frame. So steel isn't necessarily real every time. And you're saying, look, really, it's design. And then going back to his video, comparing the big wig with the big owl, he said the big owl is more playful than the big wig. I was like, look, that's basically made my mind up, you know. 
So I decided to go for a 2021 Ragley Big Owl. And it being like a year or two old, it's old stock from a bike shop in Cornwall. I managed to save myself quite a few hundred pounds from having a year or two old bike. Brand new, in the box. And isn't she beautiful? I mean, just, oh, love the colour. Love the colour. Love the brand. The worlds are beautiful. I've gone all round it. Had a look. I'm like, this thing is just stunning, man. I'm going to have to get some frame protection on here. And it is quite a low spec. It's the 2.0, so it's a lesser spec um, than the 1.0. Obviously, um, the main thing is the forks. I was going to sell the brakes. I'm still a little bit, I don't know, kind of verging on keeping the brakes on there. I might change the discs to something a bit more exotic, you know. Might go for some floating discs. It's going to help a little bit, but um, it's mainly the fork. The fork, um, it's a rock shock recon it's just not going to be up to what i really want to do with the bike i'm saying i'm going to be trail and i'm just going to do exercise and fitness and not go too silly down anything too crazy but i know i will so it the rock the the rock shop recon's got to go guys so i'm going to switch that out sell it and hopefully in a few months we'll have enough money to get a much better fork on there and I will do in the next video a nice little a bike check and first ride um, review of my new bike when it's all built because it's in bits at the moment so I can't wait for spring guys can't wait but until then thanks for watching the video take care and I'll see you soon